Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Juju and I hope that you guys are having a fantabulous day. So you guys are probably wondering what is up with the look. So these glasses, <laughs> I actually won these glasses off of um, TikTok. Oh, you can see my ring light. <laughs> So yeah, so these glasses are one off of TikTok. Um, her name is Kasha, I believe, and she was given a free giveaway. She sells like, you know, like unique looking glasses. Um, what do you call it? Dresses, um, with the beautiful prints, pocketbooks, like very different looking stuff. And if, if you guys know me, you know me, I love things that look different. So I actually thought of these glasses. I thought it was like pearls going around the first, but it's actually bling bling. And, you know, I love me that bling bling look. And, you know, it matches my headband. How you doing? Yes. Yeah, so, um, and I also got another one. Where's the other one? This one also. <laughs> you know, this is like some real vacation-y looking glasses. You know, you out on a beach or you're by the poolside and you have your hair wrapped up. It's just very chic. I love the cat eye look. Um, I just love it. And this one actually has pearls going around it. So, um, I was just like, yeah, definitely vacation mode. How you doing? I probably wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis, but definitely poolside beach look. Yes. Feeling it. How you doing? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so guys, how has everyone been? I hope that everyone is enjoying their week so far. Um, what do you call it? One thing else I wanted to do. Um, so let me talk about my, um, what do you call it? Headband. Um, so my headband I actually got from the beauty supply store. I thought that it was very cute, very bling bling, very attractive. They had it in different colors. Actually, they had pink, which you know, I love, um, um, black and, but, but black had little rhinestones in it, but it was like, dark rhinestones like red and green and then like the black rhinestones um so if you just want to do simple i would get that one and they also had white so i said but let me go for the, the you know like the bling bling looking one because this one can go with anything so i'm definitely going to go back and get the um the pink one because you know me i love me i love me some pink and um yeah that's it so you know how you doing you can actually wear this with different things um you know um when i when i picked this out i was really anticipating me to wear it with one of my um i have a black top with bling bling on it but um i don't know i didn't it didn't come out as much as me wearing it with the pink i think that it popped more um and also now now guys i was never the one to get into you know the whole you know, the mask matching your shirt or the mask matching your headband or the, you know, the head wrap that you got on. Um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are into that um, where I work. That's not really my thing. But um, I did buy these, um, these this mask, bling bling mask um, a long time ago. And I actually like this look, <laughs> you know, because, you know, the reality is, the reality is, is that this is, you know, how we're living today. And, you know, especially when you're going out, when you're going out, you know, at night, you know, to eat, whatever the case may be, or you're going out to, you know, you know, whatever is it up, um, a party or a little get together, you know, you have to wear a mask to get in certain spots or I think it's all spots now. So, you know, I thought that this was a cute look to have and it actually matches. So I could definitely rock, see myself rocking this. Um, so that's that, but that's, that's it. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, that's it guys. So I am actually going to start, I wanted to try something different today. I keep looking at my, um, my phone, there's messages coming through. Um, so I wanted to try these little strips. It's actually, I forgot what they call them, but it actually makes when you put on your eyeshadow it makes your eyeshadow more defined at the edges oh my god i'm hearing all this noise they're working on my um the roof of my house and 
you know, I was a little bit perturbed before because um, I wasn't aware that they were coming. And um, the landlord, they just popped up. And, um, you know, so I was a little bit annoyed. I'm like, you know, you need to tell me these things. So this is how you say so you want to line up with the corner of your eyes and at um, the end of your eyebrow. Yeah, so I thought I thought they had to come inside and I was like, absolutely not. I said, I, you know, I kind of like went off on the guy and I was like, um, no, I said, I'm not letting you in here. First of all, I'm here by myself. I said, that is not happening. But anyway, um, they actually only had to um, do it outside. You have to just look at the roof from the outside. Um, you know, so <laughs> the guy was like, no, 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 mommy, no. I'm just letting you know that I'm going to be outside, you know, on the roof. So that was nice of him because I probably would have been even more perturbed if I heard, you know, the noise on the roof and then no one told me. So that was nice of him. Yeah, so you pretty much just, you just line it up right at the corner. Make sure that it, it's hitting the corner and it's hitting the end of your eyebrows. Okay. And I'm going to take my pencil, I mean my brush and... You know, it's amazing how these brushes, they disappear. <laughs> okay. I just had my brush with me. I have no idea where it went. This is so crazy. It never fails. So anyway, I'm going to be using MAC. Here's a palette that I just, I got maybe like two months ago. And um, I love the shades that they have. I'm going to show you the shades in a minute. Um, this is so crazy. <laughs> okay. So the shades, these are the shades. Um, I like the purples and all the nude colors. Um, this blue is fire. I wore it out the other day and, um, I, you know, I've been dipping in the purples and the pinks and, um, this is a gold. This is a nude, you know, it's just, I like the different combination of the colors. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, I'm thinking if I should use these two colors together, I thought it would be a different look, but I'm going to use it this one on my eyelid okay the brighter one on my eyelid and then the darker one I'm going to use up top and um, I'm gonna make sure you want to dust it as much as possible onto the edges so that you have that sharp look. Okay, so you dust it all the way to the end. I mean, I might have to like fill in my eyebrows at the end some more but you want to dust it as much as possible so that you have that very sharp look towards the end so uh for all you guys who don't know i did get my eyebrows microbladed but i don't know i feel like i still have to fill in some areas so let's take it off and see how it looks yes you see that definition So these things really works um, if you want your eyebrows to look more defined. This one is not as defined. I don't know. Can y'all see it? It's not as defined. Um, let me just fill in my eyebrows a little bit more. I have no idea where my, um. oh, here it is. Also, guys, I forgot to tell you, so this headband, 
it actually you can actually put it from backwards so it's, it's long comes down then you can actually put it down um bring this towards the front or you can put it towards the back so you have a lot of room i wasn't sure how it would hold the hair but it actually holds my hair down pretty nice and flat so um definitely i'll definitely see myself um wearing this and you could even like wear it without the hair like if you just wanted to slick your hair back and just have it um you know just have this alone just have your hair slick back i think that's a cute look too yeah guys so i am going to put on my so it's two different things that i'm trying today i'm going to be trying this lipstick that i got from mac um but let me just pop on some eyelashes You know what I was thinking, guys? I just cannot believe that it's already September. It's back to school. Schools are opening back up. Thank God, those poor kids, you know, and the remote learning. I feel so bad. Like, a lot of these kids, they weren't, um, it was very hard for them to learn with the remote learning. So, I'm glad that, um, the kids are actually getting the opportunity to go back to school. You know, so they could see their friends and their fan, you know, their teachers they haven't seen in a while. I have a girlfriend. She is um, the guidance counselor. And one thing with her is like during the height of the pandemic, like she would, um, what do you call it? Like everybody, she get, she. She was able to get everybody's birthday, all her children's birthdays. And she will call them and wish them a happy birthday. So, Miss Keisha White, kudos to you. Um, and I believe that um she are she's also in um a newsletter. She had sent me an article the other day. And I was so happy for her because I like to see people like that that do a good thing, you know, regardless of all the chaos that's going on, you know, they still try to be positive and, you know, do a good thing. And I, I really love that. Because, you know, with this, everything that's going on in this world today, girl, it is so hard to stay positive. You know, it's very hard. You really got to stay prayed up. So, you know, I'm very, very happy for her. I like to see people like that get recognized. Of course, you know, guys, I'm always dropping something. I wanted to show you. I'm trying to trying to see, like, which she had sent me. I want to see the newsletter that she had sent me. Um... Hold on. Just give me a second. Yeah, here it is. It is. It's city and state New York. Is that a newsletter? I'm not sure. But anyway. um, You know, it was a very, very nice. Um, uh, what do you call it? Article to read. I was like very touched and I'm glad that. Um. You know, people like this get recognized, as I said before. Part of the article says, um, we have no idea what we're going to see. Do you know the amount of crying that happens after just one summer of kindergarten or pre-K student coming to school on that first day? So just imagine that. So, and her name is school counselor Keisha White. So Keisha, kudos to you. I'm glad that, you know, you got recognized for doing such a wonderful job. My, I, I'm like, I always said, I said, if I was your teacher, and she is so funny, like, just a funny person, period. And I'm like, if I was your teacher, if I was your student, I would look forward to being her class. You know, because um, she's very, very good with the kids, and I love it. <laughs> um, so I'm just very glad that the kids have this opportunity to to get back into school and see their friends and as i said um you know remote learning is not for everybody it's not easy it is not easy um even 
like let me tell you something i remember when i just experienced remote learning and that was when i went to um when i when i was and i was getting my masters i'm doing the same thing for my um doctorate right now and it's not easy for for my masters now it's easy for me with the with with my um, my doctorate now but with my masters it was very hard like you really have to stay disciplined you really have to stay disciplined because it's kind of like they give you the work okay they give you the assignments and they're like okay read this <laughs> and you're on your own yeah you're on your own it's not like it's it's not like it's not like um regular classroom where they're on top of you and they're explaining things you know it's like they give you the work and um read this chapter and you're pretty much on your own and that's very difficult for some kids that's you know when you're not used to that type of learning it's very hard and it's even hard for some of the teachers also because they're not used to that you know it's very difficult for them so it's not only the students that get affected it's also the teachers that get affected also you know um and <laughs> sometimes you know with the remote learning you know um you know be happy that you have some you know you sometimes you have teachers that they don't, they don't have the patience also to keep on explaining <laughs> you know i've had like a good experience so far but you know i've heard some horror stories where you know um it's hard for the teachers too because they're not used to keep on explaining themselves explain themselves because when you when you don't have that person right in front of you sometimes they just don't get it you know the students they don't get it right away so you have to have a lot of patience it's crazy you have to have a lot of patience it's not easy Oh God, so now that I have my eye, my eyelashes on, I have to make sure that this is like, um, so, uh, you know, guys, I, as I always say over and over again, you have to make sure that it is directly right, not too much on the eyelid. It's like, try and literally get it in between, in between your, um, eyelashes you know otherwise it's gonna look a little funny so that's what you got to do guys yes okay um I did put on my base of my makeup so I'm just gonna brush my face with um huh something missing I don't see my puff <laughs> I don't know where it went be surprised to know how things just go missing it's crazy anyway so I'll just use a little bit of this this is not the brush that I usually use to put on my powder that's why I usually have like an my extra, um, um, you know, uh, brush just in case. But usually this is my brush that I use for my, um, to put on my foundation. So, but you could use this brush also for putting on the powder. Um, what I like about this brush is real hairs and, um, the hairs are very tight. This is also by Mac. It was a little bit expensive. I believe I pay, I believe I believe I paid thirty dollars for this brush, but at least I'm getting my wares out of it. <laughs> this is also by Mac. You know, all my makeup is by Mac. My foundation is by Mac. My foundation I actually ran out of Mac, unfortunately. Um, so I've been using this, the Ill Makeage. Um, which is good too. It's a little bit thick, um, but you know, it does the job, but my go-to makeup is MAC. I mean, it is just, oh, that's my, why is my phone my other, it's my work phone. It's so crazy. These scam people, the scam people, 
They even got my work phone number. Don't even ask me how. It's crazy. I could guarantee you it's them. You know, because usually if it's my job, they'll call me directly on my phone. Yeah, guys. So, as I said, um, MAC is my go-to makeup. Oh, another thing I wanted to talk about is like, do you know that like a lot of relationships are being affected by this pandemic? So I'm like really happy that people are actually getting to go back to work because let me tell you something. Go! It is not easy. <laughs> it is not easy because guess what? People are around each other 24 seven and that's not normal. It is not normal for you to be around each other 24 seven. So yeah, a lot of relationships, like they're getting affected by this because you're around them um, 24 seven. And I'm just imagining like, if y'all ain't like each other before and now y'all gotta be around the person 24 seven. I know. <laughs> I just know that it be popping off <laughs> it be popping off okay but as i tell people you know people that talk to me about it i tell people i be telling people i said listen you gotta just take a freaking walk yo try and try and do things you know because now you're alone you know in in front of each other's face every day but you gotta find things to do you know You've got to find things to do. It's not easy. <laughs> yeah, guys. So this is my one of my favorite um, glue, eyelash glue. Got it for Amazon. It is called Beflan. I mean, it's very tacky when you put it on. I mean, it is a, 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 a. Love it. <laughs> I just love me this. I love it. My sister actually told me about this. Um, it is like, you know, you have to, you wait like maybe 30 seconds and it is dry. It, the, 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 the eye, the eye, the eyelashes like stick on like right away automatically. I mean, cause some of them, you know, you have some of these glues and the glues, they don't, they, 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 it doesn't stick. Okay, guys, so this is MAC, okay? So I actually, they were having some kind of sale. So I bought, um, I don't know if I bought two of these. Yeah, it was, if you buy two, you get a free lipstick, okay? So this color, I don't even know what this color is. Um, this 422 non n o n i don't know it looks for hold on because it's written so small let me put my um let's see what it says okay so it says it's number 422 and it says mon color it looks like but anyway that's the color of it Um, and I'm not a lipstick person, but when I tried it on, I thought it was very nice. It was different. It's like in between pink and purple. So I really loved it. So I had just tried it on my hand. And I thought it was very nice. Yeah. Just as I expected. I really liked it. You know, guys, I always like to line. I don't know what it is. I always just like to line my lips a little bit. Um, to me, it helps the lips to, um, the color to like stay within the line, and it doesn't like run down on the side of your lips. And this is also very dark. Oh, this is this pencil is also very dark. It's very dark. I actually used to 
where this pencil like just guides south. It's a very dark color. I, I can't remember what's the name of it. Um, it could be orchid something. Um, something with black in it. Yeah, so I just line my lips very, very lightly. Sometimes I'll just, once I finish light it, lining it, I'll put just a little bit on it, you know, just to blend it some more. So that it doesn't look too, you know, like sudden. I don't know why my, my, um, my camera is tending to freeze up a little bit. I don't know, it does that flash thing. I don't know what that is all about. You know, it's this Mac thing, Mac. I, I'm still trying to figure out this computer. You know, I just don't have the time. <laughs> okay, guys, so that is it. Um, so that's my finished look. So before I go, guys, you know, I'm going to be promoting my book every single time on my show, The Adventures of Chloe the, ne the Yes Cat. Um, it hit the shelves like about two weeks ago. Okay, you can find it. The last time I spoke about it, I didn't even tell you where you could find it. So you can actually find it. I made some flyers. You can actually find it in Barnes & Noble, Apple Books, um, uh, also on Kindle. It's coming out soon. Should be this month. And by the way, it's also in Target. I didn't even realize my book was in Target. Yes, my book made it in Target. So I'm like, if it made it to Target, you know it's going to hit Walmart next. How you doing? Yes. Um, I've been going to different libraries, you know, because I want to see if I can get my book into um, the libraries. Um, I have to do a book sign. And I wanted to, I'm trying to set up a book sign in the library. But, you know, because of COVID, it's like nobody's even trying to do that. So that's a bit challenging. But I'm not going to give up. Okay, because, you know, this is how you get yourself known out there. Um, even if I have to do it as a private event somewhere, you know, rent some place and, you know, throw something nice, you know, like a nice little get together and have friends and family come by and I do a book signing. Um, but um, but I wanted to do it for a book. I wanted to do it for friends and family and I wanted to do it for the public also. So the friends and family, you know. Um, I'll be able to pull that off faster, but you know, with the public, um, I'm just going to have to see, I'm not going to give up. Okay. Um, but it's very challenging now because of, um, COVID. So I just want to just get one in there and it's going to happen because you know, your girl is not going to give up because guess what? She represents Chloe. Okay. Chloe never gave up in any of her, of her adventures. Okay. Yes. So, with that being said, guys, um, it's also on Apple Books also. I don't know if I mentioned that. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching my video. You know what to do. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. You can also share my video. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys next week. And I hope that you guys have the rest of the week. And I hope that it is fantabulous how you doing so guys take care and i will see you bye